Okay, so to start with, the arm gets in the way a bit, so you can tuck it behind just to make it easier. Shoulder goes to the mat, so you fall sideways, tuck your chin under, and then you're going to use that bottom foot on the floor to be able to post and invert your hips upside down. So you're now in like that warm-up position. Use the other foot now, the one I'm pointing to, to help you stabilise on the way over, and then you can obviously come back to that seated position. You can see arm goes behind the back to start with, it gets it out of the way, later we'll change that. Use the bottom foot, again toes into the mat to invert those hips, push them over, use that far foot to stabilise as you sit back up. From a different angle, as you can see I hide the arm, shoulder, chin tucks, use the feet to stabilise as I move through. Same on the other side, arm tucks, upside down, there's a little bit of a quicker one. Now you can use your elbows in, so if you feel comfortable, tuck those elbows in this time. You can invert, roll over, elbows tuck in, foot into the mat, use your feet to stabilise as you roll through. And then this is like, you can see this from like the warm-up position, so in the warm-up you'd roll upside down, right? So you can start to walk your feet from left to right to start to build that flexibility through your shoulders and that idea of foot movement starting to walk them across and you can kind of half almost fall over and use that stabilizing foot on the outside to stop yourself from falling over so you can control the angle you can fall to the side go back over and then fall a little bit be 